Hi besties, it's me, Deja Nicole. So I'm going to show you how I do this cute glitter summer eyeshadow look. It actually been a month since I did a makeup video, but um, I'm gonna show you how I do this look. It actually also been at least two years since I did a look like this, just because glitter shadows can be very hard to deal with and it can be messy. But I really do hope that you like this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You say you wanna hold me This day's a nickel This day's a nickel Tuned in to the hottest in the city Nice smile and the light up the city She got lifestyle, new hoes, she the realest besties okay so i'm dancing in this video but let's do this makeup look so um yeah me being pretty all natural you know but tomorrow i'm posting this on a thursday which is july 6th so i would appreciate it if y'all can like comment happy birthday it would like make my day but i just want to like put that out there because july 6th is my birthday i'll be turning 21 so today july 5th is the last day that i am 20 years old and i have learned a lot just being 20 um, so i wonder what me being 21 is going to teach me and stuff but i'm glad that i learned about cutting a lot of people in my life because that's what i have done at the age of 20 so this next chapter in my life starting tomorrow i hope that i learned a lot by the time of next year on my 22nd birthday but i just want to put that out there july 6th is my birthday and today's july 5th i'm posting this on my birthday so if y'all can see me putting like these sticker things and y'all wonder like what is that deja nicole okay so those are like guiders for people who are um beginner of eyeshadows you can get these off of amazon like in a pack of like a thousand or five hundred or five thousand um, I actually don't really use these now than before because I just freehand sometimes with eyeshadow and I just dropped my makeup brush because I'm clumsy but I needed to use these for this look and right now I'm about to use a white shadow for my base but the reason why I need to look um, to use these for this look because I'm using glitter shadows and I know glitter shadows can be very messy and you're going to see me actually mess up in this video, um, so I'm just putting it out there. Little shadows are very messy to deal with, but when you take it off and we do it, you can try to fix it because you can't really fix it. You have to like redo the eye, and that's why I hate glitter shadows. But yeah, we're putting on this white eyeshadow for the base. Um, I'm just like having a moment, but now I'm going to use this exotic flavor or flavors or flavored um eyeshadow palette, and I just love how bright the shades look, but it's not very pigmented on my eyelid. And that is a problem as a black woman who loves wearing makeup, especially eyeshadows. Um, but the look, the like, the eyeshadow do not look pigmented on my skin than someone who has fair skin. So that's why when I start my makeup line, my cosmetic line, I'm starting with like lip gloss and eyelashes and this and that but when years go on i want to make eyeshadow palettes and i'm gonna make sure that these eyeshadow palettes are very very pigmented on the eyelids of a black woman in all shades of black women um before releasing that because i want them to be pigmented without us using like a base a white base for it to make it pigmented pigmented like it should always want to be pigmented 
Okay, so I had to um do something and I'll say I had to use the bathroom. So I'm back. But I am just putting this yellow shade on my eyelids. Um and like I said, I like that you can still see it, but I feel like it should have been more pigmented. Especially how this whole palette is pigmented as hell. And I did call it yellow, but it's actually orange, but it shows up as yellow. Because it looks like a highlighter orange color. Um, but I'm just putting it on my eyelids. As you can see, my eyelashes were like not wanting to do it like it was clustered all that but they're still long and stuff like i don't wear mascara or, or wear like false lashes i feel like i don't need that to you know i don't never need that but um i'm gonna use this red shade um and like sometimes i like doing voiceovers i don't know if you know this but i love doing voiceovers because i can have like a conversation with y'all while talking about my look that i'm doing and i had to see if my brother was coming in my room because two are not here and two are here but the one who be busting your room is the youngest and um he doesn't care he just because he's nonverbal autistic he really don't care like because he will bust in my room just for juice and like give it to me with some attitude i'll be like grayson really but i am just putting this red shade on my eyelid like it looks like you can see it still but i feel like like it's like i said before it should have been more pigmented and this is why i'm going to create a cosmetics line so i can fix problems like this one day um and we're just gonna say one day because i'm starting off with lip glosses and soon lashes and then I already have eyeshadow palettes already and or like ideas made so um when that happens that happens and in a few weeks um i will be announcing the launch date of my cosmetics brand um did you nicole beauty so go follow me on instagram if you want to know when i will be launching that and i will soon be making business content even before launching like getting ready for my business this and that um and that's why like i'm so excited to create a business because i wanted to create a business since high school but before i continue this conversation i did use this black eyeshadow to make it like a smoky like look in the outer corners and i'm going to use a blend brush to blend it all out you should always want to use a blend brush to blend your colors i feel like you should use a blend brush that you don't use for like eyeshadow to blend out your colors but like i was saying um i always wanted to like have a cosmetics brand since high school like i even planned it in high school because i was like so in love with makeup and i was friends with this girl who actually taught me some things about makeup and i would always ask her um like does this look good does this look good and she was like oh my gosh it looks great so like i had friends that was into makeup and that made me want to love makeup and i actually didn't start wearing makeup in high until like high school so sophomore year to be exact so yeah but i'm not friends with that girl i actually stopped being friends with her since like before we even graduated before covid happened because i'm the class of 2020 the class when covid happened um but i'm going to use this gold shimmer pressed glitters now before i continue my conversation i hate using pressed glitters sometimes because you can't really do a lot with it like you can do a lot with it but you can't like fix it up you have to like try to make it work and if you want to fix up your pressed glitter look you just have to redo the eyelid um so that's why i hate pressed glitters i also hate it because it can get everywhere but um i haven't used pressed glitter since 2020 i did a makeup look with me using pressed glitters and um late 2020 and i loved it and actually i was like i'm gonna try this look but like with different colors again so um yeah i'm trying to like make it like also like my on my eyelids and wound a little and when you are using pressed glitters use an eyeshadow like 
brush eyelid brush because it will actually give you more application and stick to your eye than some other brush or use an angle brush if you want to like have a ring to it that is something that i learned when i first used press glitters but like i was saying so i wasn't like friends with this girl because if y'all heard me say this story um i used to have a, have a big not like big big friend group but a good amount of friend groups um friend group in high school and one day i was doing something for this girl and i charged her and i was like you know you still gotta pay me she was like but i'm your friend i was like and um the reason why i said that like i still charge her for something what i that she wanted me to do because she complimented what i did it for myself it's because just because you're my friend doesn't mean you can get things for free we can like soon like fall off and if you can use well i'm, I'm her friend so i can get it for free yeah no it doesn't work that way plus she always talked about me in front of me like I wasn't there and she would always like um be nice about it and I actually have a upcoming podcast episode with my first ever guest on season two we, I talk about that but um it was like she was always talking bad about me and she was jealous in a way um because she was like you know you see yourself doing big things but i don't think you'll do big things because you're this way or you're shy or you're introvert this and that look at me bitch i am doing this i am doing this damn thing but like she was jealous and she always talked about me and it's like yeah i knew she was talking about me i just wanted to know well when when was when will be when will it be the right time to cut her off and she stopped being my friend i didn't really worry i even had a friend in high school ask me like what happened and um i told him so yeah and i nicknamed that person speedy gonzalez because he sounded like speedy gonzalez not because he was mexican it was because he sounded like speedy gonzalez which was shocking because like <laughs> you wouldn't expect that like but no he's not like speeding gonzalez and he knew he did so i was like fixing up the eyelid um but i'm going to actually be do the whole eyelid because i was like yeah this ain't working but just a long story short if you do have someone that is considered your friend and they're talking about you just know they're not really your friend i heard something in a movie i think it was a disney channel movie it was like keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer so um yeah i really believe that and um to be honest when she did um started spreading lies about me i didn't care because i knew um it didn't like like it wasn't true but i know i would go in the like bathroom and just tell myself in the mirror like this year you know you're not this you're not you know you're not that you know you're not this way you know you're not that way this and that so um i knew and i remember that day the marine recruiters came and they brought the pull-up bar and um this guy his name was his last name was sanchez he was one of the marine recruiters and i was having a bad day because like i sat i still sat in the table with them and i don't know why i did that but i just did i was just minding my own business and the marine recruiters like um came and did pull-ups so i'm just trying to fix up the like smoky part but i'm going to remove this whole eye right now the left eye i believe um so yeah but like i was saying i saw the marine recruiters and one of the recruiters his last name was sanchez um <laughs> but his last name was sanchez and he was doing pull-ups like this man was so freaking fine and he knew what he was doing because all the girls were screaming in the cafeteria but he was just so fine and i would say i think i think that just gave me a more spark to be like oh so like the mili- the men in the military do be buffing this way and that way uh, I don't recommend dating someone in the military or talking to a guy in the military just because they're so sometimey. I just got like, I just stopped talking to a guy in the military because for some reason, 
it worked out like our date worked out but he was like i don't think i could see you dating me but you fucking kissed me and made out with me like he literally made out like we made out and everything which i was like so what the fuck so you just wasted my time but like i'm not saying like all guys in the military are bad it also depends on their mos to be honest like in the army infantry like my mom used to be in the army and the guy i went on a date well hung out i'm gonna say like back in may and she i told her um his mo was she was like oh infantry oh okay and my mom used to be in the military she used to be in the army so like she knows like about the different like most of or some or the most popular mos is in the army so um yeah and i try not to go for guys in the military but because i live on a military base and I low-key find guys attractive in uniforms. It's just like, yeah. But no, I don't really try to talk to guys in the military. I try to talk to guys in every field, I guess. But because it's Fort Campbell, and that's like the third, I think, third or second biggest army base in the United States. Um, yeah. Um, but um, maybe I will get a guy one day who loves me for me. Um, like, but, like, the, like, this guy was, like, good and all that. When I told him, I, like, I do YouTube, he was, like, oh, so, like, you're famous. I was, like, I'm not famous. I don't think so. I'm just a girl who just loved doing YouTube and been making videos and all that. And, like, we had a good conversation. But, um, yeah. So, I'm redoing this eye. So, I'm not going to walk through the whole process. I just did it as a white shadow because I just forgot. But, um, he was, he was good, like, and all that. But it was the fact that I knew we was gonna like cut like cut off and stop talking. Um, because I had a dream. I kid you not. I had a dream and he was not there. So I was like, yeah, we're gonna stop talking. And on um, July first, um, when I was getting my hair done, we did, and he didn't really explain the reason why. But I'm at the point in my life that I don't really ask the person why no more. I just be like, okay. But there's a thing that I have seen with guys at least, or just people at least, not just guys, but in people um, in general, but mostly men. Um, when I cut them out of my life, they find a way back to me, and they know this. They, the reason why they find a way back to get in contact with me is because they know they fucked up um, and stuff. Because I'm just a rare gem. Even my birthstone is a rare gem. If y'all didn't know that, like, know that my birthstone is a ruby. Um, ruby, ruby, ruby red, you know, um, it's one of the, one of the most expensive gems, if I'm not mistaken. But it's also one of the rarest gems out there i did my research so if your birthday is in july happy birthday to y'all if your birthday is today july 5th happy birthday if your birthday was early and this week in the first week of july happy belated birthday to y'all and if your birthday is tomorrow happy early birthday to us um and if your birthday is just in july happy birthday to y'all or happy early birthday to y'all like we're saying but just know for the july babies remember and you're a woman remember your birthstone is the most rarest gem of them all so you're the most rarest person of them all and if you don't see how you are and if you don't see the person that you are your character and he was like you know i can't fuck with you no more or i don't see this being a relationship like i'm done doing situationships okay um like i really am but for real if you're with this in july remember that you're the rarest gem of them all okay honey of them all um not something that i you know like remind myself that i'm the rarest gem of them all because of my birthstone is rare and i was like one day a guy is going to love me for me i can be like my true self and i think i Trust, like I did trust him and I was comfortable and we was actually comfortable with each other um, to the point that he didn't like all of me and he only liked what I showed him on the first date so um, yeah um, that's that but we did fix the eyes as you can see now um, now that my like the string on my bonnet is like showing up I don't know why but I don't know if you can see um, but I tried to like use my flashlight, which didn't really work um, on my phone. So 
I'm done with the look as you can see um, like I said it's not the cleanest cuz it's been a while but you're not always gonna like you're not gonna walk around the world and close your eyes right right so does it really matter no but like I said glitter shadows are hard to deal with and to actually work with something that I hate but I love because it can make your look pop out so much more um then regular shadows i am going to now use the brush with the black shadow for it and um yeah now i'm going to put carmax on my lips because as you can see my lips are chapped um very very chapped um yes i like wearing carmax i think it's better than chapstick to be honest because it lasts longer to keep my lips actually not dry and not chapped than chapstick like the brand chapstick um but that's just my preference and i've seen a lot of people say that they like carmax better and then i'm using this lip gloss from this small business i forgot what was the shade name but that is the business name if it can like focus um lu lu cosmetics um yeah Lulu cosmetics i'm i don't know what happened she just like stopped posting this stuff so i hope that she like she does start her business again but you know it can be a very mental thing to start a business i think like creating content as well can be mentally challenging mental like do a lot with your mental health and then i'm about to get a makeup wipe and just trying to like wipe off all this glitter off my face because like i said little shadows glitter glitter shadows are really messy but um have i wanted to take a mental break yes i have probably taken a break before i took like a hiatus for like a month but that's my hair it's just basically goddess braids with um, my natural hair but it doesn't look like i have braids in my hair but i do have braids in my hair um so um yeah so this is like the final 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 look i really do hope that you like this video i am not gonna say like i'm not finishing closing down this video but like i'm gonna say i hope that you like this video if you want me to do a tutorial on how to use pressed glitters and make it look neat please put that down in the comments because like i said it's very hard to deal with um but it is messy so yeah but i really do hope that you like this video i was just jamming out to i think i don't i forgot what song i was jamming out to um I was just listening to like yeah and like besos 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 kisses 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 cheese click click and bye guys and bye this danger tuned into the hottest in the city nice man in the light of the city she got life